Hey guys, Zippy Griffin here with the Infamous Degenerates, and today you're going to take a trip with me down the rabbit hole that is Anthem. It's been a little under four months since Anthem's release, and much hasn't changed in the way the game looks, feels, or plays, unfortunately. For instance, gameplay is nothing to write home about, though flying through the world of Anthem is probably the most fun you'll have with this game, and the shooting aspect of this looter shooter, a term I use very loosely here, is about on par with other much better games of this genre. Destiny, I'm looking at you. Endgame content is lacking, and with the story as short, uninspired, and generic as it is, you'll quickly join the throngs of gamers struggling to find any sort of meat on these dry, dry, unfortunate bones. Though, speaking of looting and shooting, the loot system is as stingy as ever, with the constant back and forth of updates removing loot potential from the harder enemies of the game, causing much of what's left of Anthem's community to take up arms against it. Seriously, just read the subreddit for this game. It's atrocious. Like watching a train full of orphans run head-on into a nuclear processing plant. Since the beginning of this horror show, though, players, myself included, I did really enjoy this game and I really, really had high hopes for it, and it since dashed it against the rocks, only to pick it back up and dash it again. I have begged the developers to even just supply the community with a quick fix to this loot system while they await the rest of the content that was promised, and then reneged that content. If you look at any Google search for Anthem, you will see that we had this whole roadmap, and I hate roadmaps, but games are doing it, especially games as a service, mind you, where they map out all this content you're supposed to receive, and that's what you're paying for, a roadmap. And Anthem has removed it, with promise of it to come, and there's no date. So take that with a grain of salt. Truth be told, though, all it would honestly take, or would have taken, if Anthem's PR team had simply kept up communication not tried to blame hostile replies, as the community manager Jesse Anderson so kindly put it, The community, speaking of, has only grown more aggressive with the silence of the Anthem Twitter page. Now going on a month? and the lack of anything endgame. Hilariously enough, dear Mr. Anderson told the public just before his silence that I ever have to go quiet again, I will let the community know, end quote. And then nothing! Like dust on the wind, or, to be better compared to the current quality of Anthem, a fart. Maybe Anthem will turn it around, though. Maybe I'm just being pessimistic and pissy and... disgruntled. But I don't think so. After all, they've announced something for Anthem at this year's upcoming E3, though anything less than complete apologies and possibly a rehashing of the game in full would appease the rightfully pissed off fan base. If you spent money on this game, at any point, whether that's now or a week down the road, please find the nearest sharp object and stab yourself in the thigh for all the good it will do you. In all, Anthem is some strange Frankenstein monster of good ideas poorly imp implemented with little time to properly make anything remotely functional together. Maybe the dev team and I have something in common. At the end of the day, though, I have to say, if you're going to pick this game up, maybe ask for a better game for Christmas, and then don't be too sad when your parents try to save money and buy this from the bargain bin. <laughs>